What is that? That's like a ticking sound. Or a, perhaps a talking sound? No, not not T-A-L-K, but, you know, T-O-K. <laughs> it's like a tick and then a talk. And, uh, yes, a talk and then a tick. And it's more like a tick and then a tack. <laughs> attack? <gasps> like How dare you? Chin- Chinese attack? <laughs> what are we going to talk about? Talk about. We're talking about TikTok. Uh, Jeez. So TikTok is basically, uh, what is that, Marcus? It's just like a, uh, another well, app. Another, uh, of endless for those of you not of in apps. Gen Z, there was an app a long time ago on a website called Vine. It's yes, just a, exactly. These short, dumb little videos that you can make. They're like, you know. For like 30 seconds less or something. Than, yeah. Or even, yeah. Very, very short. Look at me and, and my you, dog. It's, just a vi- it's a, like a video sharing website. And it's getting used for many different reasons by many different people. Just like say youtube or any other platform mostly for like entertainment that. yes yeah just supposed to be just little little laughs or little things to make you smile and go oh or whatever <laughs> right or look at this idiot <laughs> yes <Yeah>. totally <laughs> for, it's it's for internet fame is really yeah good call right <laughs> that guy's the in a goal. mirror and he looks like he's floating riding a motorcycle yeah that's like the only one i've seen so that's what it that's what it is that's what it's created for that's what it's on the purpose surface. is supposed to be yeah right but um you know, if one were to look a little deeper, Marcus, mm. always look deeper. What else is, uh, what else possibly is, uh, theoretically TikTok being used for instead, not just entertainment? Well, how far down the rabbit hole are we t- going? Who runs TikTok, Marcus? Well, who it's pulls owned- the levers of this tickety tuck? <laughs> it's owned by a, a Chinese company. Microsoft is going to buy like a 40% stake in it. So that? I heard that, uh, Microsoft was interested in buying they it. Were. And then, um, I think Trump did like some sort of it was an executive, executive order, order okay, that, that to, to, American businesses can't American. I thought it was an executive order that American businesses have to buy it. Otherwise he's going to get rid of it basically. Right. Well, because then or it wouldn't be or something because then it wouldn't be under Chinese exclusively anymore, Chinese right? control. So, yeah. Yeah. Which I feel like is kind of a happy medium. I mean, based on my very limited knowledge of any of these things. Yeah. Well, I don't like banning things outright. That's, the libertarian in me goes like, I don't like that. <laughs> there's there's a lot of layers here because it's this very like a parfait, like a parfait exactly. It's a very very good headline. Yeah, it's very salacious. Like, what this this very bunch of, y- bunch of millennials putting videos of their cats and like now it's becoming this international thing where you have to make an executive order about it, and shut right, it down. Right, China and spying. What is it? This doesn't make any sense. Spreading conspiracies and right. all this whatnot. I guess because, the point I guess is that like China is using like microphones and cameras as well as um, the access to like I think I heard like your clipboard. As well as like your, so if, you know, if you use passwords on other things, then mm-hmm. hypothetically they can build like not only like a shadow profile on you, but also just, you know, data mine. Data mine the crap out of you. Yeah. But honestly, that's the same as pretty much any Any telecom company. App. Yeah. Yeah. Any smartphone app. Facebook's doing it. I guess it. the only We're difference just is, on it is the United States. China's doing it. Well, but I mean, <laughs> one could argue that like there's a legitimate reason for that. Whereas the United States at least has like the veneer of, um, like civil rights laws and freedom of speech and a bunch of things that we hold valuable, mm. you know, not like monetarily, but, you know, for society. Whereas China is kind of like a despot authoritarian regime. Well, sure. I would almost sounds weird for me to say this, and I don't know if I fully agree, with it, but it's almost like I'd, I'd almost trust that data to America before I trust it to China. <laughs> a little bit, right? A little bit. Yes, I yeah. know. I agree. And I, think I wouldn't, that's the point, I'd honestly right? not to give it to either, buddy. No, but. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I, I feel like the, the United States could do like slightly less damage, yeah. I guess, than, than China would or whatever, only because, again, there were these laws on the books yeah. that could hypothetically provide you with some sort of like equalizing. They don't appear the, to hate freedom. Yes, <laughs> exactly. At least not on the surface. Yeah. And the other thing, I don't I don't know if you ever heard about this, but the other thing that happened too was Trump had a rally in Tulsa. Tulsa? Tulsa. Yes. And like there was like a so- I, online sign up. You had to sign up for it online. But yes, like a bunch of people to like used, RSVP it or something. Right. But like a bunch of people used TikTok apparently to like game that. So like they basically yes. like bought, quote unquote, bought a whole bunch of tickets. But they so signed up a, lo- for, a lot less people actually showed up. Because yes, they, they signed up for a whole bunch of like positions or whatever. And now there's a bunch of open positions for people who were not there basically. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. A bunch of empty seats. Yes. Yeah. A lot of people kind of use that as his motivation for like you know we got to shut this thing down because oh. it affronted me personally ah uh, word yeah. I, word i don't i don't think he's that petty i mean don't you, uh, you don't dude <laughs> no not gonna use the i don't think he would use the levers of the american fucking government to basically do that only because 
a I don't think he's that petty, though I do think he is uh he does have like a why don't they like me like mm. complex. Yeah. I, I think his base would be so fucking irate at that that could not be okay with that. Despite the fact that like some people in those base, like a tenth of that base maybe would be like, Fuck yeah, man, power to you. There's a good part of his base that would follow Trump to the end of the fucking earth. Yes, of course, <laughs> for sure. But like I feel like the the non psychos would basically be like, Bro, what are you doing? You're acting mm. like a king. I don't mm. like that. I don't yeah. want that. Yeah. Now as you say, I'm sure there's maybe a group of people who'd be like, fuck it, dude, fucking <laughs> handle that shit. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, I don't think so or whatever. I think that uh, that's basically just kind of used as a, not a smearing thing, but just kind of like a, a lazy, intellectually lazy answer for that or whatever. Because there is a lot of shit that TikTok is doing and that that China is doing in general, right? Right. But so, I mean, I'm, it's not like that like narrative was created just be solely out of him being slighted by TikTok. Yeah, well, uh, apparently his... Because where would his... it stop? If he fucking got rid of TikTok, then all these people would just jump over to some other fucking place and then fucking hoax him again. Absolutely. Was he just going to jump from fucking platform to platform, getting rid of all of them, and no one's going to say anything? I don't know if he really knows how it works, but... I don't think so either, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, th that would be the logical conclusion of like, all right, TikTok did it. All right, well, now they all moved on to Twitter. All right, Twitter did it. Get rid of Twitter, too. Like, right. I, I don't think that would be... A, um, a political platform that he would get very far on. <laughs> I mean, he might say some shit and tweet some shit before mm. somebody goes like, oh, Mr. President, you actually don't have the um, power to do that. Like when everybody fucking lost their shit about him saying like, I don't know, maybe we should uh, delay the election with all this mail-in voting stuff. People lost their fucking mind. And it's mm. hilarious to me because I'm like, you know he can't do that, right? Mm. You know that it, you don't have to worry about that at all. Right. Like when people go like, he has his finger on the button. They're like, do you literally think that? Like, literally think that. Like, literally, like, there's a drawer that just goes, like, Meh. just opens it up, and there's a big nuclear red button. It just goes, fuck you, Russia, or whoever, and it can just do that. Like, that's not how things work, dude. There are fail-safes or whatever for, like, generals and, like, you know, admirals and things like that to be like, all right, I need to turn the key with you, bro, or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To give, like, you know... uh Clear, you know, multiple level clearance. There's not like a unilateral clearance where he can just say a thing and then it happens. You know mm. what I mean? Like you have to have general. Now, granted, if you have generals who are like super loyal to him or whatever, then you could hypothetically go around that or whatever. They, they forget that there's like the certain channels of government that one needs to go through in order to enact all kinds of things, whether it's legislation or military engagement and things the like president that. president is the government, Drew. Yeah, exactly. No, exactly. People are like, he could just do these things. You're like, no, dude. Just like Obama couldn't do certain things, just like Bush can do certain things or whatever. Like, I feel like certain, not, not with every like thing that we've been mentioning, but with certain things that people bring up, I'm like, bro, you're just showing your ignorance of how the government works basically mm. right now. Oh, what I was going to say was, I guess apparently part of his reasoning when he signed his executive order was that TikTok also spreads conspiracies which i thought was this is every fucking multimedia company that's weird that yeah he said that it's lack of self-awareness on his part too about uh conspiracies yeah word so what like the um uh the birth certificate we all know right yeah exactly yeah, yeah that was probably the most well-known one i proved it right we all know that we're just gonna move on <laughs> <laughs> what do you say i'm like did you prove that right i mean i think there's some people who disagree with you dude like <laughs> you know just a handful so that's Trump's hate boner with TikTok. And, uh, Word. Hate boners are the, are the ragiest boners. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure by the time we publish this, there'll probably be some new development that just negates and shits Things move so everything fast. We, everything we're saying, but... For real. Yeah, he has had a, a hate boner for China forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a hot minute. I don't know what it is. I mean... It's all the Fox News he's ingesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, they just keep stealing our intellectual property. It's the property, it's the intellectual, and it's property, and they're taking it. It's what it is. <laughs> It's very bad. Give it's us terrible. back our intellect. <laughs> <laughs> Just we're sitting here and we'd like it back, please. You know, it's a terrible thing. You've seen what they've done. They've taken our intellect, taken it away. <laughs> <laughs>